Hi guys, so welcome back. Time for our weekly market outlook. Unfortunately, a bit sick today. I got uh, maybe some food which uh, didn't work out perfectly fine. So I feel some stomach ache and anyways, but uh, shouldn't harm me from uh, getting you guys out our weekly session. I'm still able to sit up straight a bit freezing here. Aircon is out, saves a lot of money and energy we could say. But uh, in general, obviously, I want to check markets and prepare you guys as well to see what goes uh, throughout this week, what uh, we should focus on potentially here so far. Hope sound works out. Webcam is looking good. So, so again, let's get going. A shorter session here today. We're going over the major uh, news events. So it seems uh, that uh, hostages in uh, or from the Hamas, from Gaza, have been released. I'm not aware of how many, but quite a few. And uh, let's see how this situation unfolds. Obviously, in uh, comparison or no, in contradiction there, uh, the last release was happening just a couple of minutes before the deadline, Saturday midnight. And uh, now the Israelis have uh, released also some, uh, uh, have released some hostages, no, hostages, um, prisoners, uh, Hamas prisoners, which were uh, kept. And uh, this could kind of, well, not calm the situation. As much as we understand, there is still a ceasefire happening and the ceasefire potentially might uh, uh, call for some ongoing process at the moment, as long as the weapons are rather silent. Uh, let's uh, observe how this goes. Worth noting that deliveries of medical goods, obviously, food, food products, um, as well as uh, petrol, diesel in particular, to uh, the Gaza Strip has uh, been starting, has been ongoing as well right now over the weekend, uh, initiated by the Egyptians, obviously through the border. So uh, with that, there is at least well needed support seemingly uh, happening. Does this affect gold prices? Not too much. We can observe that gold has started to run slightly to higher levels, at least uh, for the time being here this week. Technical resistance area is and has been broken 2004, 2005, and uh, with the market probably starting to strengthen here, 2060, 2050, that zone up there has and could uh, call for some sort of further upside motivation in this market, leading gold to strengthen potentially further. Longer term charts would call for some upside motivation. Impact not quite, uh, as we might say, from the uh, um, situation that uh, the gold due to geopolitical risks are ri or is rising, but uh, that uh, the US dollar, the weakness uh, of the US dollar of the greenback causes gold prices to move higher. Like most of uh, uh, the markets with the involvement of the greenback, of the dollar, the Aussie is uh, looking kind of quite positive back towards the risk sentiment. It seems that uh, the positive risk sentiment could be due to continue for the time being here. Um, right now, the Australian is uh, gearing up steam. The New Zealand dollar is uh, pushing somehow higher and uh, further momentum in market in general with a weaker US dollar is going to be the interesting case. Plus, if we're looking at oil prices now back towards the conflict, the war uh, between Hamas and Israel is uh, going to be interesting. The market has been fading and our stop loss uh, might get triggered here. The market is still in the early days this week, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, uh, potentially at uh, a supportive uh, line here. On the weekly, we might be lucky. Well, let's see how this one goes. It looks like uh, at least uh, oil prices uh, with the involvement of the weakness of the greenback could rise somehow. We are trading below the 50 moving average and the 21 moving average, but we are still trading within or kind of at an interesting support zone, potentially causing the market to push back to the upside. So oil currently losing some momentum and then how should it go else? Also, the Canadian dollar is not actually quite strong. Instead, the Eurocat had moved to the upside over uh, the recent couple of trading days, weekend last week. Now we are starting to weaken somewhat uh, and this market looks potentially set to weaken again, but uh, it might still depend if we would call and uh, check out for this uh, strong implication here uh, in regards uh, to the 
uh, euro against the Canadian dollar that uh, the high point here and the pin bar candle this one left uh, uh, our head here and on the right might that's very early to say might have seen the high points for the week stop loss is pretty uh, short uh, in front of this area so let's see how the market goes uh, uh, furthermore uh, canadian dollar could uh, uh, potentially strengthen if oil rises and we see something similar dollar cat uh, is uh, looking rather positive uh, the dollar weakness of is supporting this market to push back to the downside uh, despite the trend bullish right so push higher correction and push higher we might say that the dollar against the Canadian dollar is still uh, trending and losing some sort of momentum uh, even further so uh, let's see on uh, uh, on this one with the oops that was wrong let's see uh, with the uh, there you go uh, with the dollar against the Canadian dollar the trades in the end uh, look quite a bit mixed and uh, if we now uh, would look for our euro uh, Japanese yen pound Japanese yen and dollar Japanese yen and start with the greenback with the dollar JP it's about to weaken again below the low so buy stop above the high would have been a maybe or should be a safer way to uh, get involved in this market because uh, if the market pushes to the upside here we could see that uh, uh, the upside motivation and we can see that uh, it is something worth considering here dollar jeppy last uh, basic last week pin bar all the way to the downside early this week retracement lower so now the buy stop order could remain in place and might call for the markets to push back to the upside here and uh, or strengthen uh, the dollar against the japanese yen potentially somehow further last but not least um, the s p 500 and general stock markets are uh, kind of at an interesting area here so the s p is basically about to push back to the upside here what if the market can break the high points well then upside potential could be seen and might uh, call for some sort of further momentum to higher levels at the moment it just doesn't look like this but what we could see is we might say that this market will extend this week another lag to the upside in particular when the us dollar greenback remains weak towards the next and uh, major resistance area here 4600 psychological round number then upside momentum it could uh, it kind of uh, start to fade and could call for some sort of further weakness uh, in this market which is basically the same for the nasdaq among other indices currently the market is slightly weaker but this as long as we from a technical point of view right could uh, could be taken as a market weakness as the market is pushing back to the downside here um since uh, the market has uh, broken below the rising trend line however the trend is quite a, quite steep yeah so this could be just a correction the market might start to resume upside motivation again also uh, later this week all right guys sorry that's my quick uh, uh, takeaway here we got uh, some information in regards to bloomberg's bond market uh, i might say i don't want to just simply copy news uh, i might say that uh, uh, the bloomy um, uh, is reporting well that uh, bond yields are falling and bonds have been bond prices have been rising kind of true but uh, we could see that with the technical support here we can observe last week there was no falling yields in the bond market so if yields rise typically bond prices fall again so i wouldn't say uh, we are over uh, what uh, might go instead we might see that uh, the market might turn around again something interesting in regards to rishi sunak so uh, back to Liz Truss, shortest serving prime minister in the UK here. He stated, uh, um, uh, Rishi Sunak, that uh, tax cutting, a tax cutting strategy uh, should not be something which, uh, which doesn't make sense. Instead, uh, the population pays already a lot in taxes and he would rather kind of cause efficiency to be better and hence obviously support the economy. Well, let's see. This one is... Uh, maybe a thin line where uh, he is walking through at the moment the pound currently is going up uh, slightly higher so that looks uh, not overly bad but uh, we shall see in the next couple of weeks how this uh, goes all right guys sorry getting a bit of rest here now not well see you later thanks for tuning in and have a fresh start of the week here take care bye bye